Hi, I'm Marcy. And I'm Ledger. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Patino, Patino News. News. Yearbooks are currently on sale. Pick up an order form in either room 103 or in the office from Miss Bristol. And if you order before January 17th, they'll be $55. Hey guys, do you wish you had all this awesome Patino swag? Well, now you can. The way you do it is by collecting and earning signed Patino points by teachers for demonstrating excellence in things such as professionalism, collaboration, innovation, kindness, and more. For example, you can get earbuds for three points, a pop socket for five points, and a geotumbler for 10 points. Don't miss out, guys. This is an awesome opportunity. Thank you to everyone who donated for our canned food drive, and congratulations to the juniors for donating the most. Special thanks to Vienna, Nishma, Abby, and most importantly, Rosa, who donated the most cans. Welcome back to the problem of the week. This week's problem was solved by sophomore Nicholas Garcia and juniors Angel Hernandez and Michael Dutra. This week's problem will be presented by Nicholas Garcia. We had to find out how long it took three people to wrap 300 presents. So the first person they wrapped um, one, they wrapped 14 presents in 10 minutes. Second person wrapped 12 presents in 15 minutes. Third person wrapped four presents in 20 minutes. And then you had a total of 300. And when you look at the minutes, you can see each one can go to 60 exactly, which is one hour. And if you times the first one by just six, then you get um, 60, obviously. The second one by four to get 60. Third one by three to get 60. And then you get, when you add all those up, you get a 144. And then if you times it by two, you get 288. And then you just need 12 more. And when you, with the numbers, I go by five because it should be simplest. And with number, with the first one it'd be seven, the second one it'd be four, and the third one it'd be one. Then you add them all up and you get 300. And in two hours and five minutes, it took them to that 300 presents. Due to the winter break, we will postpone our problem of the week until we return next year. See you next year. And now let's pause for a moment of science. Last week on Moment of Science, I challenged the juniors to build a Rube Goldberg machine, where they're gonna take potential energy and convert it into kinetic energy using a series of simple mechanisms to create a simple machine that does a job at the end, such as pouring a cup of milk or water onto a bowl of cereal or some other substance. I've received several videos. Let's take a look at the four best entries. Okay, so when she pulls the ball, it's going to pull the door open, causing the car down there to move. 
which will then cause the potatoes to fall and that'll pull the hanger into the sink which will pull the car with it pulling the Tootsie Roll bottle into the sink which will let go of the light hit running it into the airplane car which will hit the alligator tail which will pull the spoon down and then pour the milk into the cup three go pull use your muscles So we went around campus asking staff and students, what are you guys doing for the holidays? What are y'all doing, doing for the holidays? <laughs> What's going on guys? I'm Jacob Reba and I'm here with... Mrs. Sagardia. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sagardia, do you have any fun plans over winter break and over, over this holiday season? Well, I'm excited to spend time with my kids. That's about okay. it. Right, yeah, cool. it's, it's going to be low key this year. Yep. Awesome. And then lastly, do you have any New Year's resolutions or anything you want to do differently going into 2020, this new Well, I year? think with what's happening in my life, my goal is just to be as healthy as possible. So mm -hmm. whatever I can do to, to be and stay healthy, I'm going to do. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Hey guys, now I'm here with Tyler. And Tyler, first off, uh, do you have any plans over winter break? Anything you're going to do? Well, it's all they call Christmas and also my birthday three, at, three days after it, so that's something. That's really cool. Hey guys, next up, I'm here with... Lily Robbins. And Lily, do you have any fun plans going on over, over these next three weeks this winter break? Well, yeah, I plan on going up to the mountains and visiting with my family. We only really get to connect during the holidays, so it's fun to go up there and it's nice because it snows and it's pretty much just like the perfect little Christmas because we go up there and we have fun and we do like all the Christmas traditions that we have set out and it's really nice because I only really get to see them during Christmas. That's awesome. And then next up, do you have any New Year's resolutions or not even a resolution, just anything going into 2020 that you want to do differently, maybe? Um, I definitely like to stay up on my schoolwork more than I do right now. I feel like a lot of people <laughs> are going to have that as a New Year's resolution as well. Yeah, I think we can all relate to that one. All right, thank you. Hey guys, now I'm here with James. And James, first off, do you have any fun plans, anything exciting going on over break? Well, we're going to Hawaii to visit some family and friends. That's cool, man. Do you have, do you have family that live over there? Uh, we have cousins and a bunch of friends from my childhood. That That's was awesome. like seven. That's really cool. And then next up, uh, going into 2020, obviously a big year, big year for me, I'm graduating. Uh, anything new, anything exciting, any New Year's resolutions that you want to do going into this next year? Um, I would like to go surfing. Surfing? We were going to Hawaii, so you can yeah. make that happen. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, man. What's going on, guys? I'm back here with Lamond. And Lamond, do you have any fun plans over break over these next three weeks? Honestly, it's uh, today's my birthday, so probably just gonna try to do some celebrating. And honestly, um, just hang out with the family as much as possible. For sure, man. How old are you turning today? 17. 17. Everyone watching at home, make sure you smash the like on this video and wish Lamond a happy birthday in the comment section. Now, next up, do you have any New Year's resolutions or anything going into 2020 that you want to do? You know, differently, anything exciting in your life? Just try to be more of a giver to people around the world. Uh, That's really try cool. to give back to others because I've been so fortunate to have the opportunities that I've had in my life. Mm -hmm. So I want other people to experience that by even the small things that awesome. I give to them. That's really cool. Thank you, man. Almost. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Jacob and now I'm back with... Ledger. And Ledger. Do you have any fun plans going into this winter break? Uh, probably go up to Yosemite camp for a couple weeks. For a couple weeks. Ice skating, you know. The usual, the winter stuff. Run away from my life. I like your, your Christmas story jumper here. Can you tell us a little about the, the inspiration of your, uh, of your clothing today? It's 
just felt like wearing it. He just felt like Christmas. wearing it. He got it for Christmas, just like the kid in the movie. Next up, Ledger, do you have any New Year's resolutions or maybe anything going into 2020? I mean, you're graduating. We're graduating this year, so, you know, anything exciting? You're about to enter your adult life. Any resolutions or anything new you want to do? Yeah, I'll just keep my grades up so I graduate. I don't want to fail. Just graduate. You heard I don't want to Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't want to be stuck in high school any longer than I already want to be stuck in high school. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Ledger. No problem. Hey, guys. I'm Jacob, and I'm here with... Jacob. Jacob. Actually, Mr. Carrillo. Jacob. I'm here with Jacob. <laughs> and Jacob, first of all, do you have any fun plans going over winter break these next three weeks? Anything exciting going on? Well, I, I'm going to try to get over whatever I have right now. Mm -hmm. So, that. <laughs> yeah. And then 2020, obviously. Big year, you know? Uh, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Anything new, exciting uh -huh. going on next year? No. No. Nothing's exciting when you're an adult. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. Well, you're going to be graduating. I'm going to be graduating. So is Kevin behind the camera. I know. That's going to be exciting. You guys, you guys were a very enjoyable class. So I'm probably like, looking forward to like you guys like, graduating. That's, that's what I'm looking forward to. Let's get this school year over with. Yeah. You're here to hear first, folks. Hey, guys. Now I'm here with... Sierra. And Sierra. So obviously, coming up to winter break, this is our last week of school. So, over these next three weeks, obviously coming up to New Year's, do you have anything exciting going on? Any fun plans? Um, I'm going to Mexico for two weeks. So, yeah, I'm going back to Mexico. Back to Mexico. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy holidays, Patino. See you next decade.